two birds, one stone. Today I'm going to cover how to easily create subtitles for both your YouTube videos and your Facebook videos and how you can do both at the same time. Let's get started. We're going to be covering how to create an SRT file for your Facebook videos through YouTube. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to your YouTube channel and you want to go to your video manager. Ideally, you would have already uploaded your video to YouTube. If you haven't done so, go ahead and upload your video to YouTube right now. Once it's there, you're going to go ahead and click this little arrow here to the drop down menu. You're going to go to subtitles and CC, which stands for closed captioning. Once I he I'm here, I see that there is already a closed captioning happening, but this is the automatic closed caption. And sometimes it's not always accurate. You don't ever really want to rely on this. It's like relying on thumbnail roulette. It's basically closed captioning roulette. You never know what you're going to get in here. So let's just see what, what it says. Wilson treatable from the video. So it's not that accurate and I don't really want to use this one. So I'm going to go ahead and click exit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select add new subtitles or CC. And then I'm going to select my language, which is English, but there are 178 other languages to choose from. Now I have a couple of different options here. I can upload a file, I can transcribe and auto sync, or I can create new subtitles or closed captioning. What I'm going to do is I am going to transcribe and auto sync. And basically what this means is I type everything that's spoken into the video and then I click set timings, which is this button here. And what this does is it automatically lines up my text with the speech in the video. Okay. So I have that in here. And now the next thing that I want to do is go ahead and click set timings and YouTube is going to go in there and set the timing and it's just going to take a couple of minutes. So in the meantime, what I want to do is I want to also make sure this video is uploaded to Facebook. So let's switch over to Facebook and I am here on my Facebook page under my videos tab. And the video that I'm going to be adding the SRT file for is this video here. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. Once you do, then you're going to go ahead and click edit and you want to select captions. This is where you're going to upload that SRT file. So let's go back to YouTube and see if it's ready. Okay. So here is the video now. And as you can see, the text that I typed in now has time codes to the left here and they uh, correlate to the video and what I'm saying at each specific time code. So that's excellent. Um, what you want to do is just kind of go in here and make sure that everything is really tight and fine tuned and accurate. So I'm not going to do that with you guys here for this demonstration, but you definitely do want to do that. Once this is all set and squared away, you're going to want to go ahead and then click publish. This will now be your accurate closed captions for your YouTube video. I want to go ahead while I'm still in here and unpublish the automatic closed caption. So I just selected it and I clicked actions here and then I'm going to go ahead and select unpublished. Then I'm going to select exit. It's going to bring me back to the screen. And this English, um, published version is the version that I just created. So let's go back in and check that. Perfect. Now, once I'm in here, I'm going to go ahead and select actions. And I'm going to go ahead and select this little SRT file right here. And what it's going to do is it's going to download the SRT file for me. Once that's downloaded, we're going to switch back over to Facebook. Now you're going to want to immediately just go ahead and click upload the SRT file, but unfortunately you can't do that. It has to be named in a very specific format in order for it to be uploaded. And that specific formula format is the file name dot the two letter language code underscore the two letter country code dot SRT. So here is the SRT file that we downloaded from YouTube that's associated with this video. What we're going to want to do is we're just going to double click in here or click once, sorry, and change the name of the file. The file is going to be called now what? dot en, which is my language code underscore 
dot uh, us which is the country code and then i'm just going to click enter to save that now i'm going to go back over to facebook and select upload srt file and here's the srt file that we just renamed and i'm going to go ahead and select that and then click open perfect that's right there i'm going to select the default language to english and then i'm going to go ahead and click save now here is the video and you're going to notice in the bottom right hand corner where this little cog is captions is now available so i'm going to go ahead and select captions and there are my captions coming right across the screen so that is how you create the srt file in youtube killing two birds with one stone because you do need closed captions accurately inserted into your YouTube videos. And then you're taking that SRT file and uploading it to Facebook. So if you are creating YouTube videos that you're then sharing on Facebook, you can take that SRT file, upload it right here. Amazing. And that is how you create the SRT file for your Facebook videos from your YouTube channel. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you next week. Make sure to leave me your comments and feedback. I love hearing from you. And remember, you're someone's reason to smile. So don't give up.